Hi and welcome to part 3 of how to make your own 2D game. Today we're going to actually write some code. We're going to get ourselves the resource files that we're going to need in order to present the paddle and the bow in our brick games. Uh, we're going to actually code the paddle and we're going to make it move when we click on it with the mouse or uh, when uh, we touch the screen if you're using a mobile device and we're going to draw a bow. For this particular reason we're going to start up our notepad plus plus editor and we will let's just begin. Now, first things first, let's get ourselves the resource files. So, just go to the Raponui directory and in here you have a folder called images. Go in here and just copy this file background-blue.png or if you like you can get the green one or the purple one, it doesn't really matter. So just I'll just get this one, copy it, go to the Raponui directory again, go to your my game directory, paste it in here. Okay, so go back one directory again, and in the Raponui samples directory, then games and brick 2D, just get all of this .png files, copy them and back to your my game directory, paste it in here. Okay, so let's just create a simple file. This will be uh, our main file in which we will actually create the game. So let's call it my-game.lua. Okay, and one last thing. Go to your uh, main Rapanui directory and in here you have a file called mine.lua. We've already have edited this file so just open it in your notepad++ editor. I'll just drag it in. And over here scroll down to the Rapanui demos and just above that you say dash dash uh, my game and in here you just type in require quotes and close the bracket and in here you say my game slash my dash game okay save that and over here you have to comment out this line okay so just file save and you are ready to go. So now it is actually time to start coding. Go to your notepad++ editor and close the main.lua file. Okay, so now go to your Rapanui directory and in here go to your my game directory and just get the my dash game dot lua file and drag it in into the notepad plus plus editor so in here we're actually going to create our game the first thing to do is going to be to actually draw the paddle so let's create a variable called paddle and that variable is going to actually uh, collect our image of the paddle and is going to represent the paddle on the screen. So the paddle should be equal to R and factory and this particular class of the Rapanui is actually some kind of a utility class. In here we can specify things like the dot create image and in here we're going to pass in my underscore game that's our main directory for the game then slash paddle.png this is actually the image file of our paddle on the next line we're going to specify the y position of the paddle initially 
So that's going to be y equal to 400. And now go to your main Rapa Nui directory and just run the bath file over here. Double click. And this is the result. The paddle is over here and the background is still black. So let's fix that. Okay, so now go to your Notepad++ editor again. And I'm going to make a variable called background image. And this is going to be equal again to rn factory dot create image. And in here, I'm going to specify my game slash background. And now depending on the background that you've chose previously, uh, you have to specify the correct file, but I've chose the blue one. Okay, so background-blue.png And on the next line, I'm going to make something funky here Background image And then I'm going to say send to bottom Okay, save that Go to your Raponui directory again And run the bat file And now as you can see, the background is over here it is the one that we've copied previously into the my, in my game directory and the paddle is still over here well our game isn't particularly interesting yet because you know we can't even move the paddle yet so let's just do that and close this file and go to your uh, mygame.lua file in your notepad++ editor and in here I'm going to say rn listeners colon at event listener and in the brackets I'm going to specify which event I'm going to listen for and the next parameter is going to be the function that we'll call that will be called when the event is actually occurring or is already occurred so uh, on touch event handler is the name of that function we're going to specify uh, so I'm going to make it over here on touch event handler and this function is going to take a parameter called event let's close that function and now if event dot face equal to began and that means if the event is already happening or event dot face equal to moved and that means if the event is actually moved then close that here and in here I'm going to specify paddle dot x equal to event dot x so this will actually make the paddle x position where the mouse x position currently is so save that and go to your main Rapa Nui directory and run the bat file over here and this is the result well it looks kind of the same but if you click with the mouse as you can see the paddle is going wherever your mouse is so that's pretty neat Okay, so you've made it that far, that's great, let's just close this window now and as you can see the code is already getting some clunkiness in here, as you can see this 400 maybe should be a constant or something, so let's just do that, let's say paddle underscore start underscore x equal to zero and let's say paddle underscore start underscore y equal to 400 and for now let's just delete that and now we're going to actually uh, draw ourselves a bow this bow will be used to actually break the bricks so let's go over here bow underscore start underscore x equal to 50 and let's say bow underscore start underscore 
y equal to 200 okay and now uh, just as with the paddle we're going to make a bow out of an image rn factory dot create image and in the brackets i'm going to specify my underscore game slash bow dot png okay so now we have a paddle and a bow but they are aren't actually positioned so let's create ourselves a little utility function and let's call it a position object position okay position object and we're going to specify x and y positions of the objects and of course as a first parameter we're going to specify which object that is okay so now i'm going to specify the x and y positions of this object let's call this object dot x equal to x and object dot y equal to y okay so now i'm going to create <coughs> initializing function for the game let's call it init game and close it over here okay so now first thing we're going to do is actually position the bow so let's do that position object and in here we're actually calling our function position object so we're going to specify which object that's, that is the bow and we're going to say bow start x position for the x and bow start y position for the y again the same thing for the paddle and we're going to specify paddle start x and paddle start y and let's just get our background image from here because we are not going to use it anymore in the game let's cut that paste it in here okay i'll just indent it properly and let's get this line over here as well and paste it over here and the last thing you're going to do is actually call this function in the game so let's do that okay save that and now go to your rapa new directory and run the bat file and this is the result our paddle is still moving but we have the bow as well so that's it well that's it for this episode you made quite a progress in here in the next episode i'm going to show you how to actually make the bow moving and we are going to draw some bricks so we will be getting ready to actually break some bricks and uh, prepare ourselves for collision with the paddle and the bricks and toward the complete game in order to get the project files for this episode as well as the previous one you can go to makeyourown2dgame.com and uh, over here you can actually uh, get quite is useful information from our community and from the blog post that I'm going to write for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.